Yo, what is going on out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Thank God it's Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. Uh, today's video will be a little bit different. I wanted to do a video that I've been planning on doing for a while, but we've just had so many money glitches and stuff. So I just wanted to take a little break from that, give you guys something a little bit different. So this video is all about how to obtain the black duffel bag from the job uh, called Asset Seizure. Now if you guys don't know, after the Doomsday Heist DLC, Rockstar made it a little bit more difficult and inconvenient to actually get the duffel bag as well as just using it in general and switching outfits. Now I'm going to go over all of that eventually, but yeah, in this video I'm going to show you first how to get the outfit or how to get the duffel bag, how to save it, and then how to transfer it to outfits, and then what to do to get around the little inconveniences that they put in our path. Okay, so founder of this new method is World's Finest Gamer. What you need is you need to be able to sign in as a CEO. And uh, you need the special vehicle mission called Asset Seizure. Okay, that's the Phantom Wedge mission. The way you unlock that is by running vehicle warehouse missions. Okay, now if you don't have, you know, the vehicle warehouse missions or anything like that, and you haven't ran that and you don't have access to Asset Seizure, I actually do have a link to a made job, you know, that you can get the duffel bag with. It's the same job, but there's actually a link to it that you can add to your game. I'll leave that in the pinned comment and the description, but it's only PS4. So on Xbox, you do have to have this job readily available on your computer, but it's not that hard to get. Just run some CEO vehicles, you know, out of the warehouse and you should be good to go. All right. Now, apart from that, you do need one friend just to join the job with you and that's it. And uh, you want an MC Clubhouse, okay? And you gotta start this in a public session. So right now I'm actually in a public session. I'm accessing my CEO computer. Go over to these missions, the special vehicle work, and you see this Phantom Wedge mission, go ahead and launch it, all right? Once again, if you don't have this mission, I have a PS4 link down there so you can just add it to your game, all right? Now, before you start this mission, you need an MC Clubhouse. Make sure you know where your MC Clubhouse is on the map because you won't be able to see it on the map when you're in the mission. So you need to know where it is prior to starting the mission. Now, apart from that, once we're in this part, you go ahead and you just invite your friend. You can even invite randoms, you know, hopefully they don't quit on you, but you just need one friend to join the mission with you. Now, when we spawn in, we're gonna spawn in in this helicopter right here. Now, I do believe you don't have to fly in this one, but you can actually just call up your CEO buzzard in this mission. Now, I'm not too, you know, I'm not too familiar with that because I ended up just flying this helicopter that they gave me. But at this point, what you want to do is, and you and your friend can both get the duffel bag here if you want. So link up down in the comments section if, you know, two people want the duffel bag, help each other out. Now, what you want to do is fly over to your MC Clubhouse. Now, remember, I said it's not on the map. As you can see on the mini map, it's not there. But I have the duffel bag, and I know that this is my MC Clubhouse. So all you want to do is run in there. So you and your friend both run into your MC Clubhouses, okay? And you're going to see, this is crazy. I don't know why this works or why this does this, but watch. I'm walking into my MC Clubhouse, and look where I actually spawn in, all right? It's loading right now, and now all of a sudden, I'm actually spawning in my CEO office. I have no idea why that happens, but it happens, okay? So now what you want to do is just go ahead and go to your wardrobe, and once you're at your wardrobe, simply save the outfit. That's it. So before you quit the job, and if you and your friend both want the duffel bag, you know, make sure that you both save it you know to one of your outfits or the outfit that you're currently wearing make sure you save it to a slot or just right over that same outfit slot and you're good to go you can save it twice or three times if you're really concerned about it i usually save stuff twice just in case but i've saved it twice so once you and your friend have both done that one of you can simply quit the mission doesn't matter which one just go ahead and open up your phone hit that middle app hit the trash can which is x on xbox or square on playstation and then accept the alert and you're good to go you will quit the mission now don't be alarmed when you spawn into whatever session you're spawning into you actually won't be wearing the duffel bag as you can see right here i'm not wearing it whatsoever okay so we used to have an old ceo trick where uh basically and i'm going to show you exactly what we did this is the first thing i tried i would sign in as a ceo go to management and then go to style and go one to the left and then one to the right and usually it would come back but it's a little bit different since we're actually saving it in the job and not glitching it out of the job. Just go ahead and go to that same outfit that you saved in the job and just click on it and the duffel bag reappears just like that. Nice and simple. So that's how you actually obtain the duffel bag. Okay. And that's how it's saved and stuff. You have it saved just like that. Now, when you want to go ahead and do stuff to this outfit, you can only go to a certain amount of places. Okay. 
Now, I always recommend actually going to certain clothing stores, and I'm going to show you each clothing store that you can go to. Now, you need to go to a clothing store that has a wardrobe in the back, okay? And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to explain all of that right here, all the limitations about the duffel bag. So, the only place you can edit this outfit is actually over here in the wardrobe. You see, I can press right D-pad, and I can actually access all my outfits, and I can put stuff on. That's all good. Uh, I just wanted to save it again just to be sure. But yeah, so check out what happens right here. When I'm wearing the duffel bag on an outfit and I go over here, look at that. These are supposed to be the accessories. I can't hit right D-pad. I can't hit right D-pad on the shirts here. I have no right D-pad option whatsoever, not even at the, at the desk, okay? The reason for that is because you're wearing a duffel bag. That's one of the limitations that they put on us with this. You can only edit stuff on this outfit while you're in a wardrobe. Okay, so that means in your office, in your apartment, things like that, or in these certain locations of these, you know, of these clothing stores. So right now, check it out. You see when I put on another outfit, all of a sudden, check it out. I can actually hit right D-pad. And you can't change outfits either when you're wearing it. So check it out. Look, once I put that outfit on, look, I'm trying to click on that outfit that I was just wearing before, and it's not working. I can't click on any other outfit right now. It's not changing. The only way to actually change outfits, well, there's a couple ways, but, you know, you can go to the wardrobe, and you can go ahead and change outfits, or you can go outside and actually take the easy way out. So I'm going to show you that option right here. So say you're outside, you're not near a clothing store or anything like that, and you know you want to show off your outfits to your friends, or you know just kind of change outfits really because you don't like the one you're wearing. Watch if you take the easy way out, go ahead and just you know take the easy way out, Ewo, however you want to say it. Try hard, you know it's all up to you. But yeah, once you do that, look how I spawn back. You actually spawn back with the parachute instead of the duffel bag. So now I can actually go to my style and I can start changing outfits again. Okay. So the duffel bag does, you know, screw some things up. You can't go into clothing stores and hit, you know, right D-pad on anything while you're wearing it. And you can't change outfits while wearing it. But those are the workarounds. You go to a wardrobe, you know, somewhere, or you just take the easy way out. When you spawn back, you can change outfits and stuff and add accessories. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer the duffel bag. Okay, this is the old parachute glitch. Some of you might know this, some of you might not. But this, is, this video is just everything that has to do with this black duffel bag. So what you want to do is you can do this with an oppressor too if you want. I'm just using a buzzard. You just want to fly up somewhere pretty high, okay? And I say for a beginner, go ahead and fly up a lot higher than normal because if it's your first time doing this, you might have a little bit of trouble, but it's mad easy. Trust me, you'll get it after a few tries if you didn't get it the first time. So just bail out and then go ahead and hold left bumper and right bumper, all right, you know, with the parachute. Now hover over the outfit that you actually want the duffel bag on. That OGO, that's that orange outfit you saw me wearing before. So land, and then once your guy is about to take off the parachute, right about here, select that outfit. And boom, you see that? I transferred the duffel bag. So you want to run into your chopper or, you know, your oppressor or whatever while wearing a duffel bag outfit. And then when you bail out in the air and you're parachuting, hover over the outfit you want to switch it to. Okay, and as you saw when I landed, you just go ahead and right when he's taking off the parachute in the middle of that animation, that is when you select the outfit you want the duffel bag transferred to. And it will transfer as simply as that. But you still do need to save the outfit. You can take a car, you can do whatever. It doesn't need to be a motorcycle. In a car, you'll see it disappear. But you see, once I pop out, it's right there again. Okay, so this is how you change the duffel bag. Let me just call Lester right here so that I can actually go into this clothing store. I got a star because of the uh, buzzard. You know, I bailed out of it, so it blew up. And uh, yeah, so now that I've taken care of the cops, I can go ahead and actually go into the wardrobe. Remember, you can only save this in the wardrobe. You can't save it anywhere else. Okay, so right D-pad, and then I can go ahead and save the outfit. I don't think I do just because I didn't want it on here, but that's how you would do it. You would save the outfit just like that. Now, I'm going to show you on the map the other locations you can do this at. So this clothing store has a wardrobe, okay, right where you saw me at, you know, right there, that current location. I'm going to show you a few other locations that have a wardrobe. This clothing store right here has a wardrobe as well. So you can go there and you can access stuff with the duffel bag. And then, of course, most of you know this clothing store. It's the one right next to the strip club. As you can see, the shoe up there, that is the clothing store you can go to as well that has, you know, a wardrobe in the back. So you can modify your duffel bag outfits at those locations. Now, as well as the CEO office and various apartments, okay? The problem with going into your CEO office or these apartments is that when you walk in, you will actually lose your headgear. So if you're trying to save this outfit, I don't recommend going into apartments or the CEO office because you're gonna be saving it without the headgear. So if you wanna keep your headgear, I definitely recommend going into a wardrobe that's inside of one of these clothing stores, all right? So 
Pretty sure I went over everything you needed to know about the duffel bag. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe by pressing that big red button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative Dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody.